How important is this guilty plea from Schaefer? You know, it's actually pretty consequential, Jonathan, because this is not, as some people have said, you know, just a glorified trespassing guilty plea. This is actually a guilty plea with cooperation, which we'll talk about in a minute. But it's a guilty plea for a crime that involves breaching the Capitol with the intent to impede the, a, a congressional inquiry, specifically the Electoral College vote count. And when we realize that Defendant Schaefer uh, bills himself as a founding member of the Oath Keepers, this is where the cooperation part of the guilty plea comes into play. Because I can tell you, today was not sort of the first step in a cooperation agreement with Defendant Schaefer. This has been going on for some time. Anytime a defendant approaches the prosecution and it wants to consider pleading guilty and cooperating, what we do is we sit down across the table with that aspiring cooperating defendant and we basically make them tell us everything they know about criminal activity, not only criminal activity they've perpetrated, but all of their fellow Oath Keepers, all of their fellow insurrectionists. And then we go about trying to corroborate all that information before we ever strike a plea and cooperation agreement with them. So that I, I'm glad you put, I'm glad you pointed that out, because my next question was going to be, is this guilty plea? Is it the first of many or is it a guilty plea that is meant to send a signal to the other folks out there who are either have been arrested, charged or trying to get deals, a signal to them to, OK, you better get your deal now or you're going to be out of luck? I think it serves both of those purposes, Jonathan. Mm -hmm. Think about this. This man fancies himself as one of the founding members of the Oath Keepers. Now, I'm not suggesting that the Oath Keeper organization has been involved in other criminal activity, but if it has, you can bet the prosecutors are going to wring every drop of criminal information out of Defendant Schaefer, not only about the run up to January 6th, not only about the attack on the Capitol on January 6th, but anything the Oath Keepers have been up to. And let's remember, there was some coordination between the Oath Keepers and the Proud Boys. So, you know, I think Defendant Schaefer can also provide information potentially about the Proud Boys organization. So this is like the first cooperator shot fired across the bow. And I predict this is going to start the dominoes falling. You're going to see other guilty pleas. You're going to see other cooperators. And the big ticket question is, how far up the criminal food chain can these kind of cooperating defendants take the government? Glenn, one more question to you, and that is this. Why haven't we seen charges of sedition? Because I think we bring them so rarely. And I think the last time the government brought sedition charges, the prosecution was not successful. So this is not the kind of charge you want to rush to. What the prosecutors mm. are doing at the U.S. Attorney's Office for the District of Columbia is they're presenting all of this evidence to the grand jury. The sedition charges, if they come, and it looks like they might, will be the very last charges to drop. After you see the standalone charges, then the conspiracy charges, then the sedition charges. I would say stay tuned. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.